welcome to lecture 131, making some of parts charts in Excel. In this lecture, as a part of our making charts in Excel series, we are going to build a sum of parts chart, also called the waterfall chart, which is a personal favorite of mine. Well, because I think uh, the chart looks cool and it makes presentations look cool. Um, so what are some of parts charts used for? Um, they are mostly used uh, to uh, show breakdown of a data set. In this example, we are going to create a sum of parts chart to show the breakdown of revenues of this company in 2016 revenues by region. As you can see here, we have our uh, main source of data, revenues of a company in 2016 by region with US being the largest market, followed by Canada, Europe, Asia, and other. And in 2016, the, this company had total revenues of $241 million. All figures are in million dollars, USD. Um, unlike the previous um, charts we created in, in the uh, previous lectures, in this case, maybe you already noticed, we have another setup here. In the previous lectures, the charts we created in the previous lectures, we mostly used, we always used the data in, in the source, in the data set. However, in the case of sum of parts chart, we are going to use another setup, not our main source, because sum of parts charts are, uh, they're not built in the features of Microsoft Excel. We are going to create this chart um, customly. So it's, it's a custom made chart. So let me um, give you a brief introduction about the setup while we create our chart. As you can see here, we have the same, um, uh, we have our data in the same order. Um, the revenues from the largest market to the smallest one. Here we have three different columns, the total column, region, and again, another total. So why do we have two different totals? You're gonna get there soon. So the fir for the first item, first total line, I'm gonna put a zero because I want to keep it blank. I'm gonna put a zero. For the region section, I will simply link the revenues from the US in 2016. And for total, I am going to get the sum of the total and the region to find the total. In here, the second item's first total line, I will link the previous year's total, previous region's total, I'm sorry. I'm gonna link this. And in the case of Canada, in region section column, I'm going to simply link Canada and I will simply copy and paste this one to get the total of them. And honestly, all you need to do for the rest is just copy and paste this. And we are going to copy and paste the total line too, which we can cross check 241 million as in our main data source, 241 million USD. I'm gonna make this one bold and I'm gonna get the um, the um, line at the top here, top of the cell, so it's all ready now. So um, let's create our sum of parts chart. We need to select the data in here. This is our data source. Please be careful to select the total as well. So we are gonna drag our mouse to select all this area. And we are gonna get, come over here in the upper ribbon, we are gonna go to insert and chart section like we did in the previous lectures. And we are gonna go for all charts. Uh, to create the sum of parts charts, we are going to use a familiar um, chart, which is a cluster, which is a um, stacked column chart, as you can see here. I'm gonna click okay. So we already created cluster charts. So how are we going to make a sum of parts chart with this one? Well, let me show you guys. As you can see here, if you noticed, we have this red part here. And when we click on it, it shows us the source. The red part is actually the part we want, the, the, the regional revenues, the breakdown of revenues. You don't believe me? I'm gonna add the data labels. I'm gonna click any of these uh, columns, the red ones. I'm gonna right click and click on add data labels. As you can see here, the data labels are added. So I'm gonna make them in a white color so they are more visible and I'm gonna make them bold. As you can see here, US, US, Canada, Europe, Asia, and other. So we get our breakdown. So all we need to do is get uh, rid of 
the rest of this um, part of columns. So I'm going to click this one. Uh, this is the total one. We don't want this. We're going to right click this one and I'm going to fill it with no fill selection. So it disappeared. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. The, the first total, I'm going to click it and I'm going to right click this one, fill, no fill. So I got rid of them. However, I missed one column here, the total column, which I want to keep because I want to add these regional revenues at the top of each other. This is the idea behind this chart to reach a total. So I'm going to right click this one and I'm going to fill it in dark blue. Um, and I am going to fill these um, sum of part columns dark blue as well so that they would fit the rest of my presentation, design of the presentation. Um, we do not need um, this series, this um, legend down here. So I'm going to just delete this one. And as we um, did in the previous charts, I'm going to get rid of these lines because I think they look ugly. All right. Um, what else? Um, as you can see, it may you notice um, this is it's really looks very in proportional because this um, this access goes all the way to six hundred million dollars and my revenue is 130 uh, 230 uh, 41 million dollars so i'm going to add the item here so if you want to add the data label only to this one you need to select this double click right click add data labels so it adds only to this one and i'm going to drag this over here i'm going to make it bold and paint it in dark blue color now it looks like the total i'm going to it looks fine now so as I said, this is in proportional. So how can you change this? Well, if I drop this maximum vertical axis value to somewhere around 300, I would get a very uh, nice, good looking graph. So I'm going to click the right axis. I'm going to right click this one and click on format axis. Here you see the bounds of this axis. And for the minimum, yes, we want to keep zero. For maximum, however, we want to go somewhere lower so that our columns will can get taller, look taller. So I'm going to type 300. And as you can see here, it looks much better. Actually, I can even go for 280, let's say. Better. But look, it automatically turns to minus 20. So I'm going to type zero again. Better. I think it, it looks good. Um, there is other uh, formats that design changes I want to make. So I'm going to get rid of this one because I think it's unnecessary. I will delete this. I'm done with it. Now I'm going to click this columns. I'm going to right click them. Format data series. I don't like skinny columns. I'm, I want to make them thicker. So here in the format data series, you see the gap width, which is 150%. Let's go for 100 and see what's going to happen. Well, they got ticker and they look better. So let's uh, close this section. Uh, what else? So what happened to our legend, the, the data label? Oh, it's here. We're going to draw, drag this one over here at the top. Let's do the same thing for the other ones. We're going to drag it here. We are going to drag it here. We are going to drag it here gonna drag it here it takes some effort to create beautiful presentations guys so please be patient and we're gonna drag this one over here and I'm gonna click this data labels to select them all I'm gonna make them dark blue and I want to get rid of this um, letter lines I'm gonna click them and delete them as you can see here we have our chart title let's write breakdown of revenues um, and we type here 2016 dollar million. All right, and let's paint them in dark blue font color. As you can see here, we are gonna make um, some. We are gonna. I want to make this part bold. This section, the um, x-axis. I'm gonna make them bold, and I'm gonna make them in blue color. And this line here, the light gray line, I want to make it blue as well. So I'm gonna right-click this one here again. There is the outline section. I'll go there and I will click the uh, blue color, the dark blue color. Now it looks really good. You notice this frame? I think it looks ugly. I want to get rid of it. 
I'm going to click here. I want to make this chart um, transparent. So when I paste it into the PowerPoint slide, I want it perfectly transparent. So when I move it somewhere, I can see what is behind and I don't want to see any frames. I'm going to click this one in the middle of the plot area. I'm going to right click it, format plot area. And here there is fill and border options. No fill, no line. I'm going to close this one. I'm going to select the chart area now this time, and I will repeat the same process. Format chart area, no fill, no line. And here it looks just beautiful. Don't you think so, guys? We have just created a very cool sum of parts chart, also called the waterfall chart. I guess you now know why it is called the waterfall chart. All right. That is all for making some of parts charts in Excel. And now we are going to move to lecture 132. I see you guys in the next lecture.